No, um, so like you had mentioned about feeling burnt out, uh, and you know, that's, I think, the worst feeling for an artist, you know, like to be burnt out by the thing that you love the most. Yeah. Uh, what practices have you put into place now to sort of prevent burnout in the future? <laughs> what, what sort of steps have you taken to like, be like, okay, I know if I go down this path, this path too far, yeah, I'm gonna end up back in that same spot. Yeah, the fear, the, yeah. the fear of not going back to where you are is a good motivator to <laughs> keep it fucking in check. But no, I, I I fall victim of that all the time. Even this morning, I have the ability. Yeah, it, it's probably not following your time enough compared to others and saying yes. So the ability to say no, you always hear that, but that's so true. Like this morning, I said no to a mate. I want to do something and he wrote back to me saying it's really good to hear you say no to this even though it was yeah. what he like wasn't facilitating but it gives him the motivation to say no yeah because i said i could say yes to this for the easy ease of it yeah I'm not feeling sort of guilty but then i'm not going to be doing what i need to be doing i'm then turning going to get frustrated i'm going to be tired and it's going to lead up to burnout so the burnout was there years ago. To the extent, man, I was going to the doctor and he was giving me injections to put me on a flight. I don't know what, there's a like vitamin with it. Yeah. In the fucking glute, my ass, and send him on a flight the next day. Yeah. Like, that's how bad it got. Wow. Because I would go to do these installations and now, again, I'm grateful for these. These are fucking fun times. Yeah. But a big space like this and have to do this massive installation, the show would open, and then you're on the flight the next day and my project manager has been booked in somewhere else. So you go from a high right into something else and it's just like, bam, 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 bam. Yeah. And I just fucking rushed. Or like just that high energy, uh, you know, think about that. And then think about you're trying to chill and talk to someone. I'll be fucking all over the place. So like, you know, you're quite emotive and responsive. Yeah. Just like, got too much so I, I find at times sometimes you got to put the head down and you know okay let's say June July August were busy yes um and I knew okay if this stays like this I'm gonna burn it yeah. my goal is October at the end of September start of October that's where we're gonna take it off so okay that means I can put the head down and when I wake up and I'm frustrated I know that's the end goal I'm gonna I'm not gonna be burnt out and that's what I did I was very respectful to myself then to make sure that October is off meaning no painting and just to catch up on household chores chill with Alfie my wife D a bit more and so yeah you can sort of test it like that and it's just more self-awareness checking in with yourself um I'd say journaling as well probably helps you reflect on that yeah promotely totally you know um yeah and just doing a list and stuff like that it's it's again it's not just one thing it's all these sort of moving parts because yeah. us as artists or creatives yeah. don't just have to we live in a world with to pay rent and mortgages and, <laughs> and childcare or whatever your thing is like you know fucking the price of i remember the days i go to i'm looking at tesco there you go to tesco yeah and you do your food shop for 30 quid yeah like you have to give fucking I don't know. That's them days are gone. Yeah. Where you'd be like, right, thirty quid. That's me going to little, like you know, for the week. And so you have all these pressures. And then when you're painting, and you like, and it's come from a place of privilege to say this. But when you go mark something on a painting, it's like, what are intentions of this? Who's going to see this? Is this going to sell? What show? So it's all this out of pressure that you have to try and remove to get to just painting. Yeah, yeah. And so. And when I start feeling that too much pressure, that's where I back off and like, so I didn't do a show this year because I did two shows in a row. I did three exhibitions or four exhibitions in the last two years prior to this year. And, you know, I was offered more shows and I was like, nah, because I, I the, the like intent of where it's good, the, the finish line is already made out for me Yeah. before I even have to investigate. Um, so, taking this year and next year to just sort of investigate instead of doing the observational drawing course again mm. which is beautiful it's literally like i'm, I'm running to class <laughs> and on thursday mornings this nice. teacher's song is brilliant um it's a marion marion square there and uh, it's it's what it is is why i'm loving it is because i'm going there and there's no intentions are precious i'm just learning you can switch off just and switching off. and it's 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 like a meditation it's yeah. like a journaling it's something that i'm doing for myself that I'm giving myself time to do and it's not for it, you know you know what actually sorry that drawing course or going to the gym 
or journaling or meditation. You're doing something for yourself, so you're actually prioritizing yourself rather than external yeah. priorities or other things. And I think that's then where you start feeling a bit better. You know, so I'll prioritize, I'll go paint for two hours a day, even though things may be falling down around me. And then you feel good and then you can manage those other things. So it's all really integrated, you know, like, you know, without sounding too holonistic. It's finding out what's really important to you. And, uh, and you know, I went, and I probably, I'm able to say that because I went off skew for ages. Right. The ego took me away and had me, uh, you know, singing someone else's tune, dancing yeah. like a puppet to someone else, yeah. and uh, popularity and all these different things. You have to sort of go through it to go, ah, oh, this isn't me. Yeah. You know? yeah. And, I, and and that's okay, you know. And uh, and now that I know myself more and more aligned, I can obviously uh, support my community more, and I can really just do the work that's important to me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh,